homeboy boom got the clown juice. Okay. This is a lot of songs. <laughs> Screw an intro, you know. A title and a thumbnail yeah, exists. Just... That says enough. You can see from the screen here, we're listening to Tesseract. Holy shit, it's zombies! <laughs> What? Dang, okay. Oh. My flesh. Yo, I love this little melody thing. It's really nice. Blood. Yeah, this blood. melody sick. Harry Potter, let's go. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Dude. This castle's mega haunted. I have never known defeat. Oh. Oh. Ah. Whoa. Oh. oh! What? Oh, this is cool! Dude, what? Okay, you know what? The, the few singles that... I've heard, not knowing that it was going to be an album, and I probably should have, weren't completely, like, there for me. Every single time, I just kept saying I kind of missed old Subtronics. But this, this kind of feels like that. This kind of feels like yeah. Never Say Die like, era Subtronics. Snare's a little weird, like but... a really nice introduction of the album. Yeah, that was so weird. What the heck? Though. I love mm. that switch near the end as well. That was really good. There's nice haunting-esque vibes to it. Like, it gives up, like, this Luigi's Mansion type intro. Boom is not amusing. <laughs> He's still drinking Assange. his McDonald's. <laughs> it's Assange. Only star you see. Mm. Chainsmoker? I love that. What the heck? Oh, we might drum and bass of Tronics? Ask me. Sounds like. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Oh. What it sounds like. Although I'm minimalistic, it is really like sporadic at the same time. Uh, oh! I'm loving the woodpecker. I think this is the first time I've heard a Subtronics drum and bass because I rarely hear yeah. a, drum and, a drum and bass from Subtronics. Whoa, what? What the heck? Okay, I think I like this drop a lot more. Oh, I like the bass right here. It's really nice, what? Okay, this is the, the sound design is reminding me of like old school like dubstep for some reason. If it didn't give it away, I'm just, I'm like, I'm a little like... Subtronics is like... Like, you know, like, uh, like, you know, you know, you know. Yeah. But, I'll give it a chance. The song was pretty alright. Those basses and the, uh, the... Section, I recall. I think. Yeah, the. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, second drop sounded BMI and just hearing it of like the like my left field of like the stereo sounded and it's a goofy to be a little. I don't know if that's me, but that's I just think that's doesn't happen to me though. Something I wanted to bring out. Who knows? It'll probably change the more I listen to it. This might be a grow on you type song. Like I thought it was cool, but like this isn't like a. What's your favorite Subtronics trunk? Oh, it's Only Star You See. That's my favorite one. But yeah, now it's Amnesia, so we can forget about that one. Again with the spooky melodies. Yeah, no. We're another Hunter Man. melodies are always really nice. What are we talking about? I don't know. We're on the second song, I think. Second? This is the third. <laughs> Makes sense. Nah, we've only done two. Oh. oh. <laughs> they forgot that I'm him. <laughs> Whoa. Smoking symbiote. Oh. Oh. Smoking that Whoopi Goldberg Bubba Kush. Hellcat V8. <laughs> bro, what are you doing? You're not the thinker, bro. No, but what is this vocal, dude? <laughs> it's, it's, I'll explain after. Yeah, wh whatever you're thinking, I think we're on the same level right now. I, I know where it's from. I just, I just need to hear this in full. I, 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 just, I can't believe what I'm doing. Fuck it, I ate the odds. Step 
the wrong way and you will perish. I'm honestly not feeling that one. I'm not feeling that one. Disrupted my circadian rhythm. Okay, um, so plot twist. We need the amnesia to forget that one. Okay, um, I don't know what it, something something that I've noticed a lot with Sopranics is the drops. I guess it's just the mix sounds, but the drops are always louder than the rest of the song. I don't know if that's just me, but I just feel like I get blasted by the by the drops. I always have to turn it down during the drop and then turn it back up afterwards. I really like the sound design in this one. The sub bass is a little weird though. I I do agree with you. The the like the mixing is just like a little odd at times, a little bit odd at times, and the sound design is it's typical subtronics, which I don't have a problem with when it's on his album. You yeah, hear that sound, yeah. but mixing is the problem. It's the, the yeah. It's really hit or miss on whether when they pause, like when he when he paused and he did the the weird vocal thing, when he like paused it, and then like it elongates the vocal and then goes back into it. It's either hit or miss for me whether I like it or not. The first part I was like, oh, he stopped it for the the vocal, and then the second part I was like, wait, he stopped it for the vocal. I wanted it to keep going. Yeah, I don't use this word lightly. Vocals were were. were little cringe <laughs> not the vocals themselves but the placements of them i they felt like they were happening too often i was hearing full sentences in between the sections just give me a word or two yeah if there were less vocals in there then i feel like it would have been completely fine other than that i found it pretty cool everything else here um nothing's clicked yet afternoon coffee i did not like morning coffee from the last album now we're drinking <laughs> coffee in the afternoon because we like heart palpitations this better make me feel like i, I am inhaling caffeine if I do, no, I ain't think twice. Ooh, Zach, this is the perfect song for you. Uh, I'll perfect take your word for it, Boom. Yes. Yes. Did we get into UK drill? What? <laughs> I like this so far away. What? Ooh. I'll say it now just because I'm sure it's not the whole thing. But if this was the whole thing, I'd be okay with it. If it was just one of those just like non-EDM songs. Indeed. Oh. Oh. Oh, what? Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm on board. It is better than Morning Coffee. I love this like wubby feel like it took me a sec to realize that this is the actual draw, but I I love this. Yeah. I like relaxed subtronics a lot. Yeah, I love this like vibe. It's like so like mm. it's a vibe. That was nasty. That, that is actually really fire, not gonna lie. That was really nice. I'm here for this one. Favorite of the four for me, I think. Definitely enjoy this track because of like how the the grime vocal is used and how like the drop is like so really like gnarly-esque type of sound design which i rarely hear from uh Tronics. like this is like really like unique not expecting that when the grime vocal started coming in i was like oh it's gonna be some nice like you know when the when the piano started i was like oh this will be a nice little song and then the wub started coming and i was like wait if this is like mm -hmm. an experimental track this worked really nice in my opinion i love that i would love to hear more of this from Subtronics, that'd be so nice. The boom like this. We are on the ball for sure. I didn't get to say it <laughs> in the intro. I, I meant to do that. I didn't get to do this album because I decided to take a break whenever this released, so I didn't get to do it. And then I'm on a break now too. And of course, when I went on break, this current mm. album dropped too. So every time I'm on break, that's when he drops an album. Pair, pair, there's a lot of pair of words. I'm just gonna say the the subtitle to it. Slap it. Just know when I'm, putting this tool in, just I'm pretty like sure that's Quang Face speaking. No, that's Subtronic. When did Subtronic have a British accent? Listen, I've he's talented. Me. Excuse me. Whoa. Oh my god! Again, still way louder than the rest of the song, but I'm, I'm, I'm down for it. The vocals over the drum. Yeah, I like that. I like the flow here. Take notes, Amnesia. <laughs> oh, it was Ooh. Ooh. I like this flow a lot better than the beginning. I love this section. There's still a minute and a half left? What? I thought that was the end. Oh, I thought it was it. What the heck? Oh, damn, what? Third drop is a country switch-up. The 808 is over the planet. Barely the same idea, but it's still, like, I love this idea. Again, I'm, st I'm still hearing, like, like 2016 Disciple and Never Say Die subtronics, and I'm, I'm liking that. I enjoy that one more than tracks two and three. I'm iffy on, like, how metallic it's it's like his drops are playing inside a tin can sometimes we're 30 minutes in and still have 10 songs left i'm gonna be up until midnight let's go <laughs> yeah midnight tomorrow probably i saw a lot of stuff 
on EDM Twitter about this one, okay? So I have high expectations for this one. Alien Communication. Yeah, if this isn't the best song I've ever heard, I'm going to be very disappointed, because that's what EDM Twitter made it sound like. Okay. Please be good. It's trash. I hate it already. <laughs> like just it's it's in. It's Bro, was willing to speed run. Listen, we'll get through this whole thing if we just listen to five seconds of each song, and that's it. Pinocchio type beat. Whoa, we're in 2013 cool. now. Ooh, okay, wait, hold on. Oh, I'm nervous. All right, he had me for a second. Okay, he had me for a second. What? What a switch up. What All right. in the world was I, that I wasn't. Up? I wasn't expecting the, the getter dubstep is dead treatment. I want him to go back to that idea of like the, the house kind of thing. I want him to go back to that. I hope he does. He did, yes! Won it! Okay, we're going this time. Going back into like a, what is it, like Tron? Yo, I'm enjoying this. It just sounds a little, it sounds mixed a little weird, but I like it. I think I would have preferred that to just be the whole thing. The switch up was cool. I like that, but. I don't think we yeah. needed it. Assange. I could see that smile behind that mask. Like, like I could see I know. her like... I know. Plot twist, Subtronics oh is actually Boom's guilty pleasure. <laughs> Boom has enjoyed every oh. single song. That's, that's why they're wearing the mask. He's liked every single song. Don't lie, come on. I'm sure you'll love the next one with an equally amazing producer named Excision. Where are you going? Oh, We're about to hear Banger of the Year. Oh, Boom is like, right oh God. <laughs> Bro's going to sleep. <laughs> Bro's going to sleep. <laughs> Bro is gonna hit the fuck. Bro is gonna hit the fucking Abby mean. <laughs> His fucking is camera just dies. This camera's gone. What an unfortunate place for it to freeze. Switch up is cool, and then when he went to the the actual kind of like house thing, I could definitely like vibe with it. After a while, it kind of got got a little repetitive, but other than that, I thought it was pretty good. For some reason, alien communication is giving me like a nostalgic feel to it because of the second drop. Like it's give, like it's like bringing you back to the 2010s or something. That type of style that, that he nails with it. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah.